Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about Kubeflow and the portability of this AI ML platform. In this demo, we are going to deploy two Kubernetes clusters with GPU capabilities. One on AKS or Azure Kubernetes service and the other one will be on Charmant Kubernetes deployed on EC2 machines from AWS. On those two Kubernetes clusters and using same commands and same scripts, we are going to deploy a Charmed Kubeflow cluster and run the Yelp demo, which is a sentimental analysis example and algorithms that will be trained and executed using Jupyter Hub notebooks. First of all, let's create the AKS cluster. We will start by creating the resource group using this command. Now we can create the AKS cluster using two machines. Uh, we will use this command to create the AKS cluster. So we use the standard NC6 virtual machine type because they allow us to use NVIDIA GPU card with AKS. Now let's ex execute this command. Now our AKS cluster is correctly deployed. So let's retrieve the credentials to be able to use it. We use this command to retrieve uh, the credentials. To make uh, GPUs in, the, in this AKS cluster nodes uh, usable, we must deploy a daemon set for the NVIDIA device plugin. And this daemon set runs on a pod on each node to provide the required drivers for GPUs. So first we need to create a namespace using a cube cattle create namespace command and we call the namespace GPU resources. Let's create uh, this new namespace. And uh, we, have, we have previously uh, created this uh, manifest file the NVIDIA device plugin DS. So this manifest is provided as part of the NVIDIA device plugin for Kubernetes project. Now we use kubectl apply command to create the daemon set and confirm that the NVIDIA device plugin is created successfully. Now we confirm that this created successfully and the, uh, we confirm that the uh, GPU devices can be used with, uh, with this AK, AKS cluster. Now, in another environment, let's create Charmed Kubernetes on AWS. Creating the environment is very straightforward. We will just need to clone this repository. Uh, we need to access this folder, bundle, kubeflow. And then run the script with the name of the uh, Juju controller and the GPU type. Of course, we did uh, we, we did that because we previously added the credentials for uh, AWS to be a, to let uh, Juju uh, access uh, our AWS account. So now uh, this script is, is bootstrapping Juju, creating the, uh, uh, the bootstrap machine, and then it will deploy uh, uh, Kubernetes uh, components. This script will take several minutes. So now we have the two environments uh, available and ready for us. Those two environments are slightly different. We can show that by executing this command. So this is the AKS environment and the Charmed Kubernetes environment on top of AWS. Now we will deploy Kubeflow on both environments at the same time with the same commands. So uh, we will start by adding those Kubernetes environment to Juju using this command. Now we can bootstrap Juju on both Kubernetes clusters. This is gonna take some minutes, so we, we can accelerate that for this demo. Now the bootstrapping step is completed. We can show here that 
the bootstrap is completed uh, in AKS and in the charm Kubernetes. Now we are uh, going to create the kubeflow model using this command for both environments. Uh, the kubeflow model now is a blank canvas where our kubeflow charm operators will be deployed. Now we are ready to deploy the kubeflow component using uh, this kubeflow light bundle. This is going to take as well several minutes, so we will accelerate that. So here you can see that it's uh, deploying all the operators on both environments. So now we almost finish with the kubeflow uh, deployment. There is only one component that is uh, in blocked state. So it's currently uh, a manual step that, need to, uh, that we need to apply to correct the role uh, of the ing uh, Istio ingress gateway. And we need to deploy this, uh, execute this command. Sorry. Here we will wait a little bit until the uh, the uh, the manual uh, um, uh, until the the service uh, become active and idle. Now the kubeflow bundle is deployed and uh, all the services are active and green. You can check that by executing Juju status. Uh, but you may still need to execute some commands just to make it uh, fully functional and be able to access the dashboard. Uh, so first of all, we will need to configure uh, the Kubeflow credentials using Juju. So we will configure the username with this command. We will configure uh, the username as admin and the password as uh, password123. Then uh, we need to configure DEX and OEDC services with Istio Ingress Gateway Service IP. To do so, we need to execute uh, those commands. First of all, we would execute them on uh, the AKS environment. So we retrieve the IP address of the service, of Istio service. Then we configure DEX at OEDC Gatekeeper and we do the same thing for the uh, for the Charmed Kubernetes but we will change the set of IP host name here I think I missed the... Uh, oh yeah We configure as well docs authentication service and uh, OEDC gatekeeper. And that's it. So now we will uh, we will just need to uh, to wait a bit until the service get configured. And uh, we should be able to access Kubeflow dashboard now. Now we have access to both Kubeflow dashboard. So first of all, we we need to put uh, the admin credentials for Kubeflow here: admin and password one two three, and here as well admin and password one two three. And you can see here that we have really the same Kubeflow. Uh, environment or same flow platform that is deployed on uh, two different platforms. Now we are going to uh, to execute the uh, the Yelp demo, uh, but first of all, uh, to be able to execute it, we need to create a Jupyter Hub notebook on both environment. Let's create a Jupyter Hub notebook called Yelp. Uh, we would use the GPU uh, uh, image uh, for this demo. It's uh, it's uh, it's consuming pretty much uh, uh, like a lot of resources. So we will add five CPU, forty uh, gigabyte for this notebook. We will add 
uh, an NVIDIA GPU driver and we will increase a little bit the disk space. Let's create that for the, uh, this is the AKS environment to flow on AKS and we'll do that on AWS. Let's create this. Also, we will call it EL on the GPU notebook, 5 GPU, 14, and then 1 GPU, and increase the disk space. And we need to wait a little bit because it's the first time that we uh, add the notebook, so it needs to uh, download the, uh, the notebook image, Docker image, inside the worker nodes. Now we have uh, the two JupyterHub notebooks created on both platform. And uh, we, we are going now to run the Yelp uh, demo on them. So we connect to the JupyterHub notebook. First of all, we will download the, uh, the repository that contains the demo. We'll do it on this platform at the beginning. So it's a Git repo. We clone it, then we installed some Python packages using pip and stuff. We will do that as well for the other platform. And we install the packages. Okay, so the package has been installed. Now we are able to access the Yelp demo, which is our notebook, Yelp notebook. And here on notebook, Yelp. And here, so there is one change that we, uh, we need to do. We have only one GPU per worker node. And here as well. And now we are able to run all the cell. Okay, run all here. And here we can run all. It's gonna take some minutes to, to finish running uh, the whole uh, Yelp demo. Uh, now the run is finished. All the notebook blocks has been executed. So we can take a look here, like every every block is executing and the algorithm has been uh, trained. And at the end, as a result, we can see uh, that the algorithm was able to classify the L previews uh, uh, and classify the words and those reviews from uh, good, good words, like here and bad words, violation, blaming, everything. And we can see that this is pretty much the same result as the other uh, platform. Thank you for watching this demo. Uh, I hope we will uh, we'll see each other in other demo. Thank you.